Welcome to the Dating Kinky Podcast, a cast about love, sex, romance, and kink. Back in 2009, I wrote about nice guys and nice girls, nearly three years into my journey to become a better person. NGs, as I called them, are the people who seem to do the right things, but not for the right reasons, and end up giving the people around them the willies or failing at their intended pursuits. Not long after that, I started using a phrase that has guided me in many ways since. Don't do the things, be the person who does the things. I've written about that too back in 2019. But what it boils down to is that there is no substitute for authenticity. Taking actions simply cannot replace the feelings that make those actions successful and valuable. Not all the time, anyway. Sometimes it's about doing the things until you are the person who does the things. Or creating habitual behaviors until the behaviors and feelings are part of you, until they sink in. That's what I'm talking about today. How to be kinder and not just nicer. What's the difference between nice and kind? Ever heard the term nice guy? It's not a kind term, but nice guys or nice gals or nice folks, because it's not a gender issue really, are not really kind. They are nice. Nice, adjective, pleasant, agreeable, satisfactory. Usually when people are referred to as nice, People are speaking to their pleasant nature, their agreeable actions, their satisfactory performance. But kind is a different beast entirely. It describes less about how people act and more about who they are. Kind, adjective, having or showing a friendly, generous, and considerate nature. The key in there is the word nature, that it's part of them their personality, not specifically their actions. And the words friendly, generous, and considerate reinforce that because they are thought processes, ways of being rather than doing. Niceness is often a result of social conditioning and expectations of how we should act versus kindness being a part of who someone is, a caring that shows even in seemingly not nice behaviors, like discussing the hard truths with a friend. But what is being kind? And can you be kind without knowing whether you are a kind person overall? Can you increase your kindness factor? I believe you can. I believe it because I learned how to be kind. And when I'm not a naturally kind person, In fact, I'm a naturally snarky kind of icky person, thanks to my neural network being a bit defective. But I wanted to be kind, because to me, that meant being more liked and getting more of what I wanted. And I imagine how much easier life would be if every time I stepped outside, I knew I'd be met with kindness. And if I saw the best in every person I met. Lucky for me, I had a role model. My mother was kind. I actually thought she was a sucker for it until long after her death. Now, I know better. And I value the lessons she taught me. I learned. And now, I would say that I am kind more often than not. And it is becoming more of a way of thinking for me than ever. Here's how I did it in two easy steps. One, be kind to yourself. You're doing so much better than you give yourself credit for. Truly, even if you're not yet kind, you want to be. And that matters, even if it's for selfish reasons, like (laughs) my kindness was. Two, 
Be kind to everyone else, too. Yes, even to the jerk who clearly cut in front of you in traffic. No one really knows what the hell they're doing or who they're supposed to be. And it's so super easy to get wrapped up in our lives that we forget everyone else is dealing with stuff, too. And sometimes the simplest act of kindness can go a really long way. Step two is the harder part, but we all have kindness in us, even when it's unexpressed, and we can find it when we look. Think of a compliment like, I like their hair, in your head? Then say it out loud, and with no expectations. Send a text to someone you know and simply let them know you're thinking of them. Ask a coworker if you can take a task off their plate, or better yet, just do it for them if you can. Buy someone's lunch or coffee today. Do something for you because being kind means being kind to yourself too. Know someone with a birthday or anniversary coming up? Grab a card, write something nice, and send it off in the mail. Whatever. Whatever you can do to be a little extra nice throughout today, go for it. It becomes habitual when done with sincerity and no expectations of return. Wait, no expectations? Yep, that's key. Because when you have expectations, you're being nice. You're doing that for you and what you hope to get out of it, even if it's only someone not running and screaming from you. But if you do it for them, even though practicing the kindness is for you, without expectations of an immediate return on your kindness investment, it's a different thing entirely. And others can feel it, and they can tell the difference. It's the difference between, wow, your hair is gorgeous, love the colors, and you have gorgeous hair, I bet it smells delicious. I bet you do too, may I? I love your shoes. They're fabulous. And your shoes are sexy. May I kiss your feet? You are simply stunning and radiate an amazing energy. And you're stunning. I'd love to be at your feet. You have a way of making people smile, and I appreciate that about you. And... I love how you make me smile. Maybe I can make you smile all night long. Your lips are really beautiful, especially when you smile. And your lips look so soft and fresh. May I kiss them? Maybe some of those are a bit over the top, but they're real examples from my life. That last one was my ex-husband-to-be. I thought he was cute, so it still worked, but damn, I was way more naive then and not quite 19 yet. What are your thoughts? Do you even care about being kind? Does it matter to you when someone else is kind versus nice? Do you feel a difference when people attach expectations to their actions? Thank you for joining me today. If you loved this episode, please share it with others who would enjoy it. And please do join me on our new apps available in the Google Play and Apple App Stores. Dating Kinky is built by Kingsters for Kingsters, Poly, Queer, Trans Folk, and anyone not quite vanilla. And it's free. Find me on FetLife as Nookie Notes and on Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, and Medium as Dating Kinky. We are on Instagram as Dating Kinky Official, all one word. Have a kinky day. And I'll catch you next episode.